Hey, what's happening, guys? I thought today we could take a little bit of a, another look into our low-power Arduino. Remember, we did a video of this a couple weeks ago. Where I showed you you could run a Nano like this, probably a Nuno also, off of a single 18650 battery by bypassing, you know, the power in here. And what we did, let's zoom in here. We can feed the power in through the 5 volt rail, of course ground, and that should bypass the regulator on the other side and allow us to just directly power the chip and save a little bit of power. So let's hook this up. Now I've got to hook this up to the power supply here. And you can see I've got it set for 4 volts to uh, simulate the uh, 18650 battery. What I'm going to do is hook up the ground here and then I'm going to hook up the positive here to one lead of a multimeter, the Anang 8009, which I've got set as an ammeter. And then when we power it, you can see we are getting between uh, 15 and 17 milliamps current draw here. And I personally believe at least half of that is coming through these little LEDs. So let's, uh, let's unhook this here. And then we'll just directly power our Arduino. And we should be able to go in here and see what those little LEDs are drawing. 4.1 milliamp. 4.1. So we're looking at 8.2 milliamps just from LEDs on our Arduino. So I'm postulating that by removing those we can save a little bit of current draw. So let me turn you here to the microscope. And there we go. We have our little LEDs. I'm going to attempt to do this with the heat gun. So We'll see what happens. I've never actually tried this before. SMD ain't my bag, baby. But it's worth a try. Just waiting for it to heat up. And... We'll try and get in here and... There's one. There's two. All right, so you can see here, I've removed those two LEDs and hopefully haven't done any damage <laughs> to the surrounding area. Let's go back down to the Arduino. And we'll do the same thing here. Hook it up to our simulated LiPo. And we'll see what the current draw is now. Well, come on now. Well, it's not quite the half that I was looking for. Oh, you can't see that. Yeah. Gonna have to get a new camera mount at some point. But we have gone from an average of 15 to 17. Let's split it half. We'll call it 16 milliamps down to 11. So that's impressive right there. 
we've knocked off, you know, at least a third of the current draw. Now, of course, if you're doing something using serial communications, you'd want to get rid of the RX and TX LEDs as well, because those guys are also causing trouble. Well, not causing trouble, but they are drawing current. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I realize it's just a short video, but it was something I wanted to continue on with because there seemed to be a lot of interest in the low power stuff. So, And yes, for everybody who always asks, I am going to do some more Arduino stuff here in the future. I've just, I've stepped away from it for a while because I got kind of burnt out. I'm not a programmer. I have to muddle through these things to try and make them work, but you know, we'll make it work. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.